All right, what's up guys? What's up YouTube, YouTube? Trucking and Day back again with another video. Um, I mean, I woke up not, not too long ago, about like an hour and a half ago. I uh, got my coffee, brushed my teeth, and um, did my pre-trip too as well. So everything in this truck is all good. So now I'm about to start rolling and I don't know what the hell that water is. Man, that should make me want any more dirtier. <laughs> man. But man, sometimes you can make a truck clean sometimes. Especially at bug season. Like, my windshield's gonna get dirty no matter what anyways. At least, at least for the rest of the truck is clean now. So, I'm about to start heading out to my delivery. Pretty much like right now kind of thing after I stop recording this. And, um, we're gonna hit the road, get to Idaho Falls. We're about four and a half hours away. So we're gonna get, say he's gonna get there at 2:20 p.m. So at least what that's what I say. Some trucker path. So um, before I start rolling, I'm gonna put myself on your move. So that way I don't activate my drive time yet because I want to drive as much today as much as I can. At least today though. <clears throat> After I pick, because I do have a delivery and pickup today, so I got delivered the little hat right now. And then I'm gonna be picking up in Burley, Idaho, I think it's called. Um, hope I said that right, honestly. I feel like I didn't. So I'm just gonna rub it so it doesn't shut off on me. So, <clears throat> yeah, so that's the plan today. So I'm gonna be really busy today. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna record very much today, honestly. It's just because it's, I just kinda just wanna get everything done, kinda thing, you know? And not have to pick up the like the camera like every couple seconds or so you know so i mean it doesn't really matter anyways because i have a i have like a head strap anyways so that part so other part doesn't really matter so i'm gonna i'm just gonna pretty much hit the road because i got a pretty basic day today <clears throat> so i do have to go to phoenix arizona and my appointment time is at 12 a.m so the earlier I get this done, the earlier I pick up that load. <clears throat> the earlier I pick up that load because that pickup's pretty much ready by now. So, because the point, the time said the pickup was like, what, 7 a.m.? And basically, my delivery today is open window between 8 to like 4 p.m. So, so I'm gonna start hitting the road now. And I'm gonna get back with y'all in a little bit. All right, YouTube, I'm back now, but man, so right now we're currently on the U.S. Um, highway on E3 North. So we're gonna take this highway all, all the way up to Idaho. <clears throat> but man, look at this scenery though. This scenery looks freaking nice. I ain't gonna lie. It's just me, almost damn near me. Well, not really, but you get the real point logistics, logistics of it. But yeah. Yeah, this road is nice to drive on, honestly. I might get live on that one. So about four hours away from our pickup, I kind of decided to pick up the camera just because like, well, mainly because of the scenery, really, honestly. <laughs> what can I say? So <laughs> I know other explanation besides that, honestly, but I just want you guys to see it too as well. I want you guys to see what I see too as well out here in this road. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of cons and pros too as well. So this is one of the pros is going to a place you've never been to before, exploring, see different things all the time you know instead of being on the same route all damn time because that gets old a while like if i'm going to be in the same route all the time i might as well just go local at that point honestly so yeah so i'm gonna pick up this camera back up once we get to idaho so i'll catch you guys in a little bit all right what's up guys um we're back again uh we're not cycling idaho just yet but we're about to be pretty soon i think we're in jack jackpot yeah jackpot nevada <clears throat> Man, well, I'm telling you, man, Nevada is really the state of casinos. It really dead as is, honestly. The state of gambling. That's shit sure on it. But, <clears throat> so, um, I don't got much to talk about besides a couple things, really, honestly. Uh, the first thing is, um, what is your guys' favorite highway? U.S. highways, I'm talking specifically. And... What's your Pacific um, favorite U.S. highway? And tell me why about it, because I'm curious to know, honestly, because I kind of like.
like the US 93, honestly. Like, it's just nothing but just straight headaways. The US 93 in Nevada. Like, it's just nothing but just straight headaways and all that stuff, so. Uh, we're about to hit a way station pretty soon. And as for the Garmin, yeah, we're gonna hit basically near um, Idaho pretty soon. So I might as well start recording now while I'm at it. And then also the other thing is, um, what what is you guys' favorite state to travel to? To drive on or how you wanna say it, but <laughs> however you wanna say it, but let me know let me know about that in the comments because I'm curious to know about that too as well. Because so far I'm liking Nevada, honestly. Because this is nothing but just straight empty roads and I strive and live with these kind of roads honestly. When this is nothing empty, just straight head away, then you just you in the road kind of thing. Like I like I like this kind of drive honestly. It's a beautiful drive, honestly. It really is. So, um, and another piece of advice I want to give to you guys too as well. Um, if you guys are getting, if you guys are watching this, if you guys are in trucking school or getting your CDO, my best advice for you guys in school is make as much friends as make make as much friends as possible in school because at the end of the day, they could hook you up with a good job opportunity like right out the gate. So you want to be friends with your classmates when you're in um, CDL school slash trucking school. So just keep that mindful too as well. And I'm gonna have to stop pretty soon. I'm gonna have to stop recording. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Yeah, this is a crap I mean, honestly. Um, now I'm back at it again because there's actually no way station there. I thought it was gonna be a way station, but man, sometimes truck driver be giving a false advertisement sometimes. Well, yeah, so right now we're currently in Twin Falls, Idaho. So, look, it looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I've never been to Idaho, so this is all new to me, honestly. So, yeah, so all this is basically new to me. So, we're currently in Twin Falls, Idaho. We're about three hours away from our delivery, so. All right, see, so it's close. Yeah, this one. This is what I was telling you guys. Nevada, bro. Nevada. At least when I go into Nevada, I hardly hit any way stations there. I'm not sure there's any or what. But the but then again, uh, guys, let me know on that. If there's any way stations in Nevada? Because I hardly ran into them like that, honestly. So we gotta do 65. Don't want to break the speed limit now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bro, isn't that same guy that was like rushing me earlier? Dude, that guy cut me off, bro. Like, I'm not sure you can see the guy in the red freight liner over there, but he cut my ass off earlier. I, I laid an air one in his ass. <clears throat> because I was in the right, in the right lane where the slow traffic is, and the left lane was a passing lane. And then the right lane was about to end, so I had to merge into the left lane. He goes by the end soon. So I put my blinker on, all that stuff. And this dude was just flying. Like, knowing how to get over, and like, he was like zooming past me like hella fast. Like, Darren almost hit my ass down here. So, this is the shit I mean, honestly. I'm telling you guys, it's not only the four wheel drivers you have to worry about, the car drivers, really. You gotta worry about, you gotta worry about the other truck drivers too, as well, because some other truck drivers, they, they be bad as the car drivers are sometimes. They really are. Or just being too much in a rush at a point like, like, dude, you're not gonna get there any faster than, than it needs to be. You're in a goddamn truck, not in a fucking car. But I don't think he's going at any kind of speed whatsoever, so I don't think it's gonna really matter that much to him, I guess. But that dude was just flying past me and almost damn near hit me too as well. I wish I would have caught that on video though, honestly. But hey, at least I have my dash cam right there, so. Well, there's two. There's one from the company and one for myself. So, just in case something happens, it's on that video right there. But the only downside is only it's only going to cover the front end, but not the size or right end of it. So, yeah, there's that. So, just keep mindful, guys. Just just be careful of other truck drivers because some of them are, are like way more savages than car drivers are sometimes. Because. They don't know at the end of the day they're in a commercial vehicle or 
and a tractor trailer fucking truck how you guys want to however you guys want to call it but but basically it's the same shit so same crap but <laughs> so um back to where i was um so anyways about the whole advice while you're in cdl school thing so so to just take my advice on that if you're in school right now getting your cdl you want to become a truck driver the best advice i could give you is make as many friends as possible because i'm telling you they could hook you up with a good job honestly someday like make sure you still have connections with them too get their phone numbers whatever because you never know they're gonna hook you up with a job opportunity honestly so that's something a lot of people don't tell you or talk about so i'm giving you this guy's advice do this video right here so i want you guys to take this advice and apply to it why are you guys in trucking school basically and and yeah and the, there was another thing too i'm trying to remember what it was but and also the other thing too is um when you're in trucking school too as well um when you have to make not make turns but when you um when you're doing like straight backs or like offset or alley dock uh wherever the case may be so wherever the case may be with that uh, I'm not sure you guys can hear me with this loud ass J brakes, but <laughs> but um so my advice is um so what was I gonna say now? Okay, okay, hold on. Yeah, I got it. So basically my preferred advice I would give to you guys, uh advice for you guys in school too as well, is to keyword two go go very last, honestly. When especially when it comes to backing like because that way you can see what everybody else fucked up on switch so, i did something i didn't think about until something my, my mentor told me so it could apply to orientation too as well just getting your first trucking job and then you guys have to take turns on the straight back or whatever so my perfect advice i would give to you is go last i know everyone wants to go first and all that shit like i totally get that but same time though you gotta think about how you, you gotta think about like all the fuck ups everybody else been doing first so that you don't make that same mistake too as well is what, what i'm really trying to say so so if you guys know what i'm trying to say then you really know what i'm trying to say so so now still 65 miles per hour in idaho so dude this guy is on my ass god dude Like, you should have realized, like, at least five miles ago, I can't go any fast. What the fuck is that? I thought it was blood or something. What the hell? <laughs> I'm not sure you can see it on the road, but I was like, was that blood or something? What the hell was that? <laughs> so, yeah, that guy was a little bit on my ass a little bit, but he should have realized, like, five miles ago, I'm going at 62. I can't go any faster than 62. So, and I know he's trying to pass me, too, as well. Cause they've been trying to pass me for the last freaking five miles and almost damn near hit me too and being hella reckless and shit so yeah just be careful with drivers like that don't don't be like him honestly don't be like him because that load where we well whatever delivery he has to deliver to is not that important honestly because that freight will get there when it gets there because the last thing you want to do is get in an accident and that and the other thing too is is one you don't the last thing you want to do is get in an accident and then fuck up your deck report and shit on your fucking CDL and have violations in your CDL. You don't want that at all. You don't want you want violation free on your CDL as much as possible, honestly. Because at that point, good luck trying to get another trucking job because no other job's gonna gonna be able to take you. At that point, so I'm just giving you guys a piece of advice on that. Don't be reckless out here as it is. So. Even though some people tell you like it's best to go there fast, no, you want to get there. You still want to get there. You want to get there safe, soon as possible, kind of thing. So what I mean is that freight will get there when it gets there, kind of thing. Especially in the winter, in the winter conditions, like freight's gonna be late anyways. It's no doubt about that. But since it's springtime and pretty much freight's gonna start picking up so a lot more now and we don't have the winter winter weather 
I'm just hoping the freight picks up more. I'm just hoping for the winter weather. I'm not winter weather. Um, spring, excuse me. Spring and summer, it's like when freight starts moving because you got nothing to slow you down. Look at this shit, dude. You guys see that? This is the crap I mean, honestly. It's that same truck driver that was in a rush. Almost hit me and shit. Dude, he's being hella reckless, bro. Hella reckless. So, uh, yeah. This is shit I mean I have to deal with sometimes. But I don't deal on a, on a daily basis, but sometimes I do. And when I deal with those situations, it's just like a lie on that. Sorry, that sign said salmon. So I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, salmon what? So, not gonna lie, Idaho's pretty beautiful too as well. Not gonna lie on that. Look at all them cows. Look at all these them juicy steaks over there. Get ready to be slaughtered and eaten. Alright, I'm gonna shut the fuck up now. I'm just talking out my ass. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take that bag before somebody fucking assaults me by, by me saying that. Because <laughs> I'm not sure there's any vegans here that's watching my videos or not. So, I apologize in advance. So... Just hand it, man. I apologize for that. If you're a vegan and watch my videos, <laughs> sorry. Um, all right. So, anyways, I'm gonna just basically put the GoPro down, GoPro down for right now, and then I'll pick up the camera once I get closer to my to my um, delivery because I got another three hours anyway. So, away from my delivery. So, I don't want to bore you guys bored you guys too much with, with this driving POV videos a little bit so I'll try to get as much backing videos to at least today if I can because I'm not sure you guys want to see that or not but I have one video already up for that so all right so I'm gonna pick up the camera in a little bit I'll be back in a little bit guys all right what's up YouTube um, I'm back again so but anyways we're about 13 minutes away from our delivery about 12 miles out our delivery <clears throat> and the other thing i forgot to do and i just realized just now is i know i should have done this a long time ago but i'm going just gonna be completely honest with y'all i kind of forgot <laughs> like i really did forget <laughs> so basically um i forgot to find the uh, interest and exit <laughs> of the home depot store so yeah my bad on that and it's kind of my fault for that honestly because yeah i really just forgot to do that honestly out of all things the most important thing is that <laughs> but it happens we're all human beings at the end of the day so hopefully it'll be easy just in and out of there so because after that i got another pickup to do i mean not another pickup but i have a pickup that i gotta do today and after i after I pretty much pick up this load, I think I'm just gonna shut down from there because by the time I do all that shenanigans, even just drive a little bit, like it's gonna be around seven, eight, I start at nine, so that's close to 11 hour day, so. So yeah, so I'm gonna be pretty tired by the time I get done picking that load up, honestly. <laughs> so that's something I wanna do is drive this vehicle when I'm fatigued, so. And I'm, and I'm gonna, not gonna lie to you, I hardly got any sleep last night, as ready as it is. So, pretty much after I pick up that load up, I'm just gonna do most of the driving tomorrow, honestly. Drive as much as I can tomorrow. And then just finish the rest the next day or so. So, right now, we're currently in Idaho Falls. As, as, as you guys you can see that sign there. Yep, Idaho Falls. <laughs> Idaho. So we got a bunch of different street lights coming up and all that stuff pretty soon. But man, I gotta pee. I'm not even gonna lie about that one. Good thing we're almost there though. Cause I'm gonna have to go pee at the damn receiver. Cause I gotta go. <laughs> I look, he gotta go. I'm gonna do that while I'm, while I'm getting checked in. So, because I need to pee kind of bad now. Luckily I'm only 10 minutes away, so. <laughs> Luckily I'm only 10 minutes away. But yeah, the, the state of like Idaho, like it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of canyons too as well. 
at least on the I-84, I-86. Uh, there's a lot of canyons up on that way. And all that stuff. But, yeah, fun fact, just in case you guys didn't notice, um, I, I don't remember if I said this or not, but just in case I didn't, um, the speed limit for trucks is 70 miles per hour, and then for cars is 80 miles per hour. So, that's another interesting fact about that. Yeah, pretty much winter is pretty much over with, at least for, at least 98% of it, hopefully, it's done, because... Yeah, I see a lot of stuff just melting, so, as it is, so. Yay, no more winter weather driving for a while. At least, hopefully not for a while. I don't want to speak too soon on that, so. Uh, excuse me. So, and also, I don't know what the percentage on this um, GoPro right now, on the battery-wise, so just in case it dies in the middle of the video, I do apologize in advance for that as well. Because these GoPro bears do suck ass. I'm not gonna lie on that. <laughs> like, they die pretty quick and they overheat pretty quick too as well. So, that's why I'm trying to use it very wisely as much as I can. Like, use it wisely for a certain amount of times, but not the whole way there kind of thing. So, I kind of figure why not because we're about to hit the receiver anyways. So, from there... And then we got to pick up in Burley, Idaho. Hope I, I'm just hoping I say that right. I feel like I'm not for some reason. <laughs> uh, just in case I didn't, my bad. But it was hard for me to even pronounce that already as it is. <clears throat> so basically, yeah, after picking up that load, like I said before, it's going to Phoenix, Arizona. So we're going to be passing to... Um, Utah, Salt Lake City, and all that stuff. Which should be exciting. I kind of want to do that during a day too as well. So I can get, record as much video footage for you guys as much as I can. Because, I don't know. Already as it is, I don't like driving at night. Especially at a place I'm not too familiarized. Already as it is. And second, um, for video, video content and video footage, you're not going to really see a whole lot, honestly. So. Yeah, that's a lot of trucks here. All up in Idaho. After two miles, keep right to take exit 116 towards I-15 BL. Yeah. and then turn man, right. Man, look at all that damn Peter Bills are out there. And can works. I saw a camera though, and a Volvo truck. And even, even a Volvo dealership too. <laughs> in one and three quarter miles, all into one basically. Exit 116 on the right. To so. Business loop. So. And take the first right. Yeah, you heard it, lady. We're, we're about to get on, like, fit, um, I-15, um, business loop pretty soon. So, in about one half mile. So. Fun there. Yeah. So, I'm gonna get back to you guys in a little bit, though. Alright, guys. We just got off that loop now. So, that way I can save a little bit of GoPro battery. So, I have a decent amount of battery for today, kind of thing. So. Alright, let's go up a little bit further up. Now it turns out. Idaho. Alright, Yeah, I have to put a Jake 3 because how heavy I am, honestly. I think I should be good to go. the road for three miles. In one and a half miles, turn left on South Yellowstone Highway. Alright, gotcha. Wait, what? Yeah, we're just gonna follow trucker path, honestly. Because trucker path is always right compared to my GPS sometimes, the Garmin. So, if you're confused sometimes on, on which one to follow, just follow trucker path because trucker path has been mostly like right compared to this thing. So we're just gonna stay on this road here. Yeah, 
speed limit here is like 50, so I'm gonna drop my speed to, or put it up to 50 at least. And then there's gonna be another traffic light coming up pretty soon. All right, take three. Yeah, it's doing like 40 miles per hour right now. In three quarters of a mile, turn left on South Yellowstone. Yeah, we gotta go 40 anyways. Yeah, I went dead up at that corner. Honestly, I don't know how sharp it's gonna be, so better be safe than sorry, right? Oh yeah, we gotta definitely use our jigs. Yeah, we're gonna follow truck and path. We're not gonna follow the. Turn this off. God damn. Sheesh. <sighs> we're almost there. Four minutes away. And two and a half miles away to deliver this load. So yeah. Alright, let's go and do this. And I said I wanted to get a hate about this truck. Of how shaky this freaking truck is. I ain't gonna lie. That's the major economy of this truck. Is how shaky this truck could be. Especially when you're trying to back in too as well. Cause this truck could be shaking like a damn real quick. That's the only thing I don't like about the Freightliners. Like they just shake like a goddamn real quick. At least the brand new ones they do. At least the 2018s and newer, they do that. I don't think the older ones did that. I'm not sure, honestly. All right, I'm gonna get over here soon. One and a quarter miles. Turn left on South Holmes Avenue. Yeah, I'm about to get on this lane anyways. But yeah, this is basically Idaho Falls. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. You know. I mean, it's not none too side about Idaho. But they, they do have good scenery too as well. Or something, I will admit that well too i don't know what that car was gonna do but i wasn't sure that was like a like a yield lane or what have you but yeah i wasn't sure it was that okay now the garment wants to pick up a truck pass picking up so like i said before if you can't decide which one is right follow trucker path it's always right every single time at least 98% of the time it is. <laughs> Out of all the times you've been driving on this road. Oh, that was, that was a yellow light. I'm tripping. <laughs> I didn't see it blinking earlier. Or maybe it was just me. But he like, has to yield for me anyways. Because I have the green light. All right, so this light, we're gonna turn left here. All right, we're gonna slow down a whole lot. Jake breaks. Turn 1,000 feet, turn left onto South Holmes Avenue. Turn left at the traffic light. Now turn left. 
Yeah, I don't like these yellow lights, honestly. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't like those lights. Cause you'll be here forever kind of thing. <laughs> here so yeah i don't like these yellow lights at all i don't know why they have them all out here as it is spoke too soon about that one about me not taking these blinking yellow lights but i don't know i would hate to live here for that reason like bro like you're just literally in the middle of the road <laughs> waiting to go left Man, I'm glad I don't do that in California, honestly. Because that would have been so much of a clusterfuck. And not only that, more, way more accidents. Because it's not like California doesn't, doesn't have enough freaking accidents, really. But they really do. <laughs> so, they can't be doing all that crap. Oh, shit. Damn man, do that. Oh, my God. These yellow lights are... There's no green. There should be a green right here. Look. Fuck. Why do you have that? That's fucking stupid. Man, I'm gonna be here forever at this point, shit. <laughs> Man. Yeah, but at this point, that car's gonna have to slow down for me, shit, because I need to make it to my delivery by 4 o'clock. Luckily, I'm one minute away, but still. And then we got the school up ahead on the left side. So, yeah, that's always fun. Yes, green. Right, we're gonna have to make this turn pretty wide. After three quarters of a mile, you will reach your destination. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I was like laughing because it got way back. <laughs> like, don't worry, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm a professional driver. Yeah, that was gonna hit him, but I just need to make that turn pretty wide, so. <laughs> I had to make that turn pretty, pretty wide, pretty wide. Alright, this is gonna be fun because I have no idea where to enter in, which I should have looked that up before I left. But, to be honest, I forgot to do that, so. <laughs> it happens, I forgot. The one time I forget when I actually need it. <laughs> Arrive at all right, let's do 35. Just because. Don't go, don't go. There's a truck coming. Oh, wait, hold on. I think that's the entrance over there, right? Where's the, where's the dog at? Ow, fuck. I think it's supposed to enter that way. Right? I don't know, it seems like I'm supposed to enter that way. After 1,000 feet, you will reach your destination. Because I need to make this turn. Come on, bro, you can go up a little bit. God damn, bro, I need to make this goddamn turn. I wish you'll pull up a little bit, or back up a little bit at least. Because I gotta make this goddamn turn here. He's gonna have to pull up more. And he's gonna have to go back because I'm blocking a lot of traffic as it is. So I have no idea. Oh god. It's pretty wide. You're gonna have to go back, sir. Ugh, I wish I'll back up a little bit, dude. Can you see that side? Oh wait, there it is. Okay, we good. Alright. I'm gonna assume that's the entrance, right? Hold on. So the I see no okay, yeah, I was I was right, it's right there, okay. I knew it. Alright, so we're in the right place, so thank god for that. Alright, let me take my jigs off. And also let me put myself on yard move so that I could save my drive time a little bit because I'm gonna do another pickup later so let me just change this to yard move before I forget 
and then I'm gonna do it once I'm parked though honestly wait go back here there we go this turn here let me go over here a little more wide let me go a little more wide okay there's a flatbed over there so I think I'm gonna park where right the not the first one but the second one don't want to up ahead I'm gonna park behind him a little bit if I could be able to fit there okay let's go over here boom bam almost hit that damn near I got it though in 400 feet arrive at 2075 South Holmes Avenue yeah I think I'm gonna park right there and go get checked in and stuff so and also I gotta send in my arrival call too as well my arrival Kasani call on the Qualcomm. So I'm gonna go here for now. Just for now. And hopefully not to block anybody's way too as well. Alright, so I'll go here. So that I don't block anybody's way or anything. I got a lot of room that side, so. Alright, yo, let me straighten myself out. So I don't block this guy. <coughs> Oop. Oh. Felt it. Kinda hit the garb a little bit. That's alright. Oopsie. Of course, on one time I'm recording, I heard a damn curb. <laughs> All the other times I freaking don't. Right, I'm trying to get more of that side. Now I'm just trimming trees in like crazy. I think right here should be fine. He should be able to get out, no problem. Alright. <clears throat> Turn this off. And now we're gonna get, get checked in. So let me send this call real quick. Oh my, Qualcomm. Um, risk arrival, Kasani. There we go. Send that in. And then after that, go get checked in. And I gotta use the bathroom so dang bad. So let me go put this on duty now since I'm not moving. And then let me put this thing on an opti idle so that I can keep my fridge running a little bit. And then I think that's about. It, and then we'll see yeah we got about 8 or 14 6 hours in our drive time so after we take out dirty so alright guys I'm gonna go get get checked in right now so I'll be I'll catch you guys in the back back in a little bit alright what's up guys I'm back again sorry for the late uh, reply I'm sorry I didn't get any back in videos for Home Depot because I was basically rushed honestly so so I'm getting out of here. It's already freaking dark out. I'm tired as hell. I want to get this show over with and get this crap over with. And now I'm just gonna go do my pre trip. What would I do with my damn flashlight? Oh no, don't tell me I put it in the. Dang, there, I forgot to grab it, kind of thing. Because I'll be terrible. Oh, wait, it's right here. Okay, cause I really legit, legit forgot to grab it. And my flashlight about to die, that's fucking great. It's always beautiful with that one. I think I have an extra one, so I'll just use the extra one instead. So I'm telling you guys, always carry an extra flashlight cause you just never know, honestly with that. And I'm gonna check real quick. If the kingpin is locked or not. Alright, what's wrong with my damn flashlight? Yeah, this shit's about to die. I'm gonna get another one pretty soon. Yeah, let me get another one just because I'm doing shit right now. 
Yeah, I gotta charge it up for this one. So, let me grab this one here. At least this one last is the one uh, May gave us. So, thank God for that. This thing lasts freaking forever down here. Doesn't require no batteries, not that. So, I gotta charge that flashlight tonight. All right, we are hooked up, so we're good on that. Um, this one's gonna be fun because, for one, um, yeah, this load's pretty heavy. It's 40,000 pounds. And the, the turret was so high up, I had to lower it myself on, I tried high gear, didn't do nothing with it. So, I tried low gear, and that shit took all my freaking, my visceral freaking body strength as it is. I'm so that's why I'm just so damn tired right now. Come on, dude, let's go. Come on, let's go. God damn, this fucker's heavy. Definitely need to scale this damn load. Lighter. God damn. Jesus. Yeah, I definitely gotta scale this load. For sure, for sure. Cause it's pretty goddamn heavy. I will say. So depending on the weight scale and stuff, I may have to slide the tennis back a little bit, but I'm just gonna sign forward just for now to see where the weight is at. And if I need to slide it back, I'll slide it back, kind of thing. So, and wait, what the hell? Sure. All right, I guess this is the highest goes up, I guess. Hopefully. So let's put this back here. And we're still gonna do a break trip too as well. I'm telling y'all, I'm so damn tired. All right, these glands looking good. And it's setting a good 10. I think it's on the start and stop operation. So I think it needs to be on that. I see the reefers on, on, on right now. So the reefer's gonna turn back on, I guess. I don't know how a reefer works, so just let me know on a reefer, because this is my very first time ever hauling an actual reefer load. Hold on. Wait, no, I'm tripping. I thought they were like big as fuck, but they're not that big at all. So let's get this over here. Connect to here. And then we're gonna check out our lights, make sure everything works. I mean, it should work. It's pretty much a newer trailer, but you never know sometimes, so. Because a lot of these trailers do companies and shit. They go through a lot of abusement, so. And all that shit. So, I'm gonna check the lights. I hate the fact I have to walk all the way back just to check those high clearance lights on top because you can't really see the ones on the side. And the other thing I knew I noticed about these newer reefer trailers, there's no um clearance light right there, it's like on the side instead. And the older ones they have clearance like there, 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 and there. But something I didn't notice it. I like it was just a little bit odd to me on that. And then I'm gonna get my tire dumper in a minute. Once I check all the lights work, and I gotta do the brake light still too as well. And then push in my That tail is a little odd. I mean, it works. I mean, shit. Let me see here. Yeah, that's just the way the tail is, I guess. I thought I was tripping. I was like really dim or something, but that's just the way the tail is. All right, see those blinking. All right, good on that part. Good on this. 
good on that so the final light test is the brake lights and i'm gonna press the air pressure in too as well to make sure there's no air leak in this trailer just to make double sure there's no air leak there So it seems like the reefer is working pretty well since it's already on all that stuff is on the green. It was like on the amber, that means it's bad. So so I'm assuming we're good on that. So next thing I'm gonna do now is ow. Put this high up so that I could do the seatbelt trick. Because this company can't afford to put a light test in these vehicles. Yeah, I know it's a little bit low right now. My secondary, I'm gonna have to put this on right now just to get my air pressure back up. I didn't even push in the damn brakes yet. I hear it, so that's good. So now I'm gonna push this in to make sure my trailer brace is working, and then I'm gonna wrap this seatbelt around the trailer brakes. So I think this is a little high up, actually. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me go like this. Here we go. Just like that. All right, let's go check the brake lights now. And let's see if we hear an air leak or not. But so far I don't. Hear an air leak from the Mercy line, so we're good on that. And let's go check the brake lights. Make sure they work too as well before we dip out of here. So we're gonna make sure that works. All right, crystal clear. All right, all the lights work. So that's a good sign. Now, the last thing I'm gonna check is the tires. So that's the very last thing I'm gonna do. So, so that's those two check off the list. Like honestly, I'm so confused on how to operate a reefer because I haven't really. I mean, don't get me wrong, they toss that in orientation. Um, but it's been a while. You don't want to teach you one time kind of thing, unless you're doing for all 48 states and you'll get the hang of it in no time. But me, I'm on Western 11, so I'm on the dry, dry van side, but sometimes you have to take reefer loads too as well. So right now it's going like a seven, it's a little bit under, not too much. But that is still concerning. Um, I still have to call me and see if, Hopefully it's at the right time. I mean, it's, it says it says set a negative ten. That's what the bills of lading said. So I think I should be fine, honestly. I mean, I'm just overreacting and just um, overthinking shit like I do always in trucking for some god awful reason. All right, let's take this out now. Uh, so since May can't afford a light test button for these trucks, this is what you gotta do: the seatbelt trick. But uh, just make sure you have the trailer brake the handle ones too as well. Before you do all that. So we're good on that. Now, last thing I'm gonna do is check the tires and then slide my tens all the way forward. Just because I just wanna see where the way's at and all that stuff. So now I know. So that way I would know like 
like how much farther back on my holes I could do with the way I have right now. With half a tank of diesel, half a tank of death. So that's all going to come out, determine on that. So, and let me just pull this real quick and get my tire thumper real quick. And let me close my door for it to get. So that way we can check the trailer tires, make sure they're good too as well. And I almost don't forget one day the fuel. All right, the fuel is a little bit under three fourths. So it's been probably been used a little bit. So it looks like it's been used a little bit. So I think it's on a start and stop operation. So that means it automatically just does it on its own kind of thing. At least that's where it's set to. tires looking good got plenty of pressure on them all that so i'm just gonna sign my tandems do my load of call live load of call all that good jazz and then and also i'll take my load tap too as well on the on hours of service thing and then that once that gets all get checked off the list and we're ready to roll from there kind of thing and find a place to scale this load because we Cause at the end of it, we gotta scale this though because we're 40,000 pounds so we're pretty we're pretty much on the heavy side so we're gonna have to use shake three again like we did last time so it's not a big deal so i'm gonna apologize now in advance just in case the battery dies on me or whatever again and i forgot to use both so hold on but do i got room to go no wait do i Actually, yeah, hold on. Before we end it, let me sign up my tandems. Um, backwards. Wait. I think I have to pull this thing a little more forward. I think it should be fine, just like the way it is. Because we're just signing the tandems all the way back, anyways. Okay, why is the tan pin not coming out? Is it out or something? Or what? I think it's out though, isn't it? Oh, I'm I'm a dummy. <laughs> I forgot to set my damn trailer brakes. Derp the derp. Dur -de -dur. Yeah, you dumbass Dave. You forgot to set your trailer brakes. Why is that coming out? All right, let me go set my trailer brakes. Oh, that way, I could slide the uh, tandems. All right, guys, I'll get you back. I'll get back with you guys in a little bit once I'm done with everything. So about, I don't know, a couple hours later, I'm finally shut down now, so yeah I'm, I'm shut down currently at a random truck stop right now so so yeah i'm currently shut down at a random truck stop right now and i'm not sure there's even a truck stop but it's wayside cafe and there's truck parking here thank freaking goodness because loves is full like after a scale load like i could find no parking at all honestly it was pretty bad but luckily on um, my on the weight limit i'm good honestly like on the weight limit I'm good so I'm not too worried about that honestly in my opinion so not even too worried about that at all so I'm good on my weight limit so I should be alright with that so yeah cuz I'm under the limits I'm good but I do need to get fuel pretty soon and def I mean def I only have half a tank of def so I should be fine with that but the fuel I'll probably need at least 30 50 gallons i should be all right honestly with that at least with that part and um 
yeah so i'm basically gonna give out an, out an outro for this one i'm sorry this video is a little bit over the place honestly but i'm gonna catch you guys back tomorrow and try not to forget to record a video tomorrow but we're gonna be mostly driving so we're gonna go on i-84 get on a 15 i believe in salt lake city and all that stuff so we're gonna go, go be passing utah so it should be pretty exciting and then all the way down to phoenix arizona and all that stuff so i'm gonna wrap this video up and i'll catch you guys tomorrow have a good night so that's good morning from wherever you guys or whenever you whenever you guys are watching this video i will salute you guys later bye